Shalom, beloved. A word. We are watching the blessing and the curse. We are watching the curse removed from Yashorel as the blessings begin to come down. We are blessed in knowledge. We are blessed in our true awakening of who we are and who Yahuwah is to us. We are blessed in the knowledge that our enemies are not as powerful as they would lead us to believe. We are blessed, beloved, as the curse is removed from us and on to those nations who have become a curse to us. We are blessed in the knowledge of the truth that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds we are blessed, beloved, because our recovery has begun. The Lord put it on me to share a word with you today. Let this word go forth and do exactly what the Lord purposed it to do. May you receive it in the spirit that the Lord has given it. We're watching these so-called wars around the world between those oppressing nations, those nations who have no honor for Yahuwah, his people, for truth, for fairness, if you will. We are watching this country give away billions of dollars, and yet we're watching prices soar because they practice deceit. We are watching the curse that they try to continue among his beloved. But we know from whence all our blessings flow. I want to start reading from Psalms 10. Why standest thou far off, O Lord? Why hidest thou thyself in times of trouble? The wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. Yes, yes, yes. Right now, how is it that a country that can give away billions of dollars to another country, billions of dollars that the people here have paid through taxes and labor and years of service because that's the way this system has determined it to be, how is it that they can give away billions of dollars. And yet, you go to the grocery store and you find that prices have doubled. That's because those greedy people, those deceivers, the wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor. But let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. For the wicked boasteth of his heart's desire and blesseth the covetous whom the Lord abhorreth. Yes, yes, yes. They support one another. The wicked, through the pride of his countenance, he will not seek after the Lord. Yah is not in, his, in all his thoughts. His ways are always grievous. The judgments are far above out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffeth at them. Yes, yes, they think themselves unstoppable. But you are not imagining, beloved. These things that are occurring are Yahuwah letting us know he is among us. And you know, the wicked are shocked. They don't understand no matter what weapon they use, their carnal weapons, that the blessing is being unleashed and the curses are increasing upon them. When we look at 2 Corinthians, starting at the 10th chapter, 4th verse, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. 
You see, our prayers have been heard. They have gone up, beloved. Continue to pray. This chaos that you see, these nations turning on one another, are proof that Yahuwah hears us. Yes, yes, yes. These weapons are weapons as we rejoice. Yes, we are walking around the walls, the spiritual walls of Jericho rejoicing and giving a shout because the enemy's walls are falling down, his power, his support. He doesn't understand that he was only used for a time for our punishment. And during the days of his blessing, they honored themselves more than they honored the creator. They honored the creature. Yes, they think it their own intellect that did these things, that gave them the blessings. Even when they were given the word of the Most High, even when they were given the opportunity to teach it, they controlled it, they manipulated it. We live in a system, ironically enough, that causes Saturday to be a day of work. No, not work in a building. The day we were taught that you do all your work, when they had the opportunity to spread the truth of Yahuwah, they became more carnal. They manipulated the blessing, thinking it their own intellect. But we know better. That is why we are casting down imaginations in every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of Yahuwah and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of his word. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> you have nations, <clears throat> not just Babylon, Asia, they join with Babylon knowing Yahuwah was oppressed, knowing, forgive me, Yasharel was oppressed and trying to gain a foothold over them. Yes. We're seeing it right now in this country and many countries around the world. They still want to take the resources. They want to credit themselves with things they have never done while giving no credit to Yasharel. But the blessing has been unleashed on us, beloved. We are in a season of restoration. And you have to understand that restoration and how it works. Things that we have lost. You cannot think with a carnal mind. Spiritually, there are things we have lost. We are not like the world. We are not of the world, although we are in the world. Because we are his chosen vessel, beloved. But you see, there is a war going on. And as we pray that our enemies fall, not just our enemies, they are the enemies of Yahuwah. They have dishonored the Most High. You have atheistic countries and people that they too have robbed Yasharel and continue to do so. They even look at the cradle of humanity. They look at Africa and they all seek her resources, wanting to continue their robbery. But they don't understand that the curse has come in because they did not honor Yahuwah and they did not honor Yasharel. Yasharel did them no harm. Yasharel sinned against Yahuwah, not these people. But they think it's their own intellect that has given them power and dominance. So Yahuwah laughs them to scorn. And what does he use to shut them down? Mm, mm, mm. What does he use? We're in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, starting at the 27th verse. But Yahuwah has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. You see, they think because they left Yasharel undereducated, 
caught and taught in lies that they conceived and believed. They drank their own Kool-Aid. They think Yasharel foolish. Yes, yes, yes. And Yahuwah has chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. They think because they have mighty armies mm, that they can keep control over that which was never there that they can continue to pillage and plunder and lie. But these are the things that Yahuwah has chosen to take down with the weak things of the world. Yes, yes, yes. And the base things of the world, the things which are despised. Yes, Yasharel is despised by these nations. These nations that Yasharel has done no harm to, Mm, mm, mm. Have Yahuwah chosen, yea, and the things which are not, they are not in their own land. They are not governing themselves. They are not in the eyes of Babylon and those Asian nations which join to them. Mm, mm. They are not as powerful as we, as mighty as we, yes. Yahuwah has chosen them, though, to bring to naught the things that are, because the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, beloved. We are marching around that spiritual city of Jericho. Yes, praising, glorying, and honoring Yahuwah, because the walls are going to come tumbling down. Yes, 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 those weak things are praising. The things the world calls base are rejoicing. We are using our spiritual weapons, beloved. They are physical people. Yes, yes, yes. They are carnal people. They don't understand the spiritual man. If they did, they would not war against Yasharel. They try to gentrify our neighborhoods, take our homes, don't want us to own anything and everything that we do. You can go to the grocery store. Whatever Yasharel likes to eat, suddenly they will target that food and start raising and raising and raising and raising the prices because they do not honor truth or fairness. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. When you look again in Psalm 10, mm -hmm. For the wicked boasteth of his heart's desire and blesseth the covetous, which the Lord abhors. The Lord abhors what they do. The wicked, through the pride of his continence, he will not seek after Yah. Yah is not in all his thoughts. You have these so-called politicians wanting to lead, but the truth of the matter is all they want is power and all they're filled with is greed Yah is not in their thoughts. No, no, no. His ways are always grievous. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. When you look at them, the cursed ones, they do not understand the curses upon them. They have taken the word of Yahuwah and hid it. They have done violence to the law, they bury people in prison houses unjustly. They have charged them with crimes knowing they are innocent. They know that these so-called officers of the law brutalize and murder Yasharel. You have a murder right here in Pennsylvania where three police officers murdered an eight-year-old girl. They just unloaded on this car, murdered the child. First, they wanted to blame the two young men who were, in fact, shooting at one another. They wanted to put the crime on them, and when that wouldn't stick. Now they are looking at these police officers, but because one of the police officers is a Yazraelite, they're claiming they don't know which bullet from which officer struck this little girl. So they're going to charge all three. But I tell you now, that bullet did not come from that Yazraelite police officer. 
His bullet did not kill her. Why do I say that? Hmm. Because the other two are Babylonians. And they know it could cause a racial issue if it's recognized that these two Babylonians murdered this little girl. They don't want that. So now they'd rather let them all go than search for the truth, which is right in front of their faces. Yes, but let's go again. Mm. We're in Psalm 10, verse 6. He has said in his heart, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be in adversity. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. Yes, yes, yes. Fraud. How can a country give away billions of the people's money? Those billions come from your pockets and mine. And yet the prices, prices rise and rise and rise while they give away billions to others with you having no voice in it. Mm. His ways are always grievous. Yes, yes, yes. He has said in his heart, Ooh, Babylon, I shall not be moved for I shall never be in adversity. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. But you see, beloved, the curse has been removed from Yahshua. As a matter of fact, when we look in the book of Deuteronomy, when we go to Deuteronomy chapter 30, Yahuwah tells us, and it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse. We have had the blessing, beloved, and we have truly been under the curse. Look, what curse? Those nations that he used, which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations, whether the Lord thy God has driven thee. Yes, we call them to mind. And thou shalt return unto the Lord thy God, and thou shalt obey his voice. Why does that part matter, beloved? You see, many of the nations, they want to join with Yasharel, but what they're doing is polluting the truth and trying to manipulate it, trying to teach Yasharel, you don't have to do this. You don't have to honor Yahuwah. They bring in these no-God traditional ways of living and thinking. But that's not what Yahuwah told us. And thou shalt return to the Lord thy God and shall obey his voice. According to all that I command thee this day, thou and thy children with all thy heart and with all thy soul, then that then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee and will return and gather thee from all the nations where the Lord thy God has scattered thee. Yes, we know that there are some among Yasharel who will not follow, who will not listen to the word or his commands, beloved. But that does not stop what Yahuwah is doing. The curse has been removed and those who refuse to listen, Yahuwah, will deal with those two thirds who follow the other nations, who try to water down the truth of Yah's word as those other nations try to join the bandwagon. But if they don't honor the truth, if they don't honor Yahuwah, who is the truth, his word is the truth. If they don't honor him, they will fall under the curse. We see that curse unleashing on those other nations. What can we expect for them? Mm. What happened to Yasharel shall happen to them. Curses shall they be in the city. Curses shall they be in the field. Curses shall be their basket and their store. Curses shall be the fruit of their bodies and the fruit of their land, the increase of their kind and the flocks of their sheep. Curses shall they be when they come in and curses shall they be when they go out. Yes, yes, yes. He will send them cursing, vexation, and rebuke. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. 
in all that they set their hand to do until they be destroyed, until they perish quickly because of the wickedness of their doings, whereby they have forsaken his word, him, his truth. Mm, pestilence, they have tried to release all these things on others. But he who sits high and looks low is laughing them to scorn. Yes, yes, yes. While this is going on, while this is going on, Yasharel is looking for that return, beloved, that return. And when we return, we shall get those blessings. For the Lord thy God will bring us into a good land, a land of brooks, of water, of fountain, of depths, of springs out of the valleys and hills. A land of wheat and barley and vines and fig trees and pomegranates. A land of oil, olive, and honey. We are not talking about a land where those who created none of these things overcharge people. Pay farmers not to grow food, destroy crops. Let people overcharge us with no price ceiling while they give away billions to others. While those same people who are part of Babylon are now looking at Africa and lands of resources to take and take and take that which was never there. Yasharel is standing on the precipice of their deliverance, beloved. Yes, yes, yes. We see what they are trying to do. But remember, many even believe, well, I've joined to the Lord. They think themselves believers. And they think somehow that removes them. I'm talking those Babylonians. I'm talking Asia, the people who came over here trying to gain riches off of the oppression, the degradation, and the murder, the subjugation of Yasharet. But there's a judgment that's going out. They think that if they follow the word of God, that they are exempt from that curse. Never reading further in that when they attack Yasharet, they instantly become enemies because they attack the very apple of his eye. They are not exempt. And they will restore and give back. I'm going to the book of Romans, beloved. Mm. They wonder why. Why is it that Yasharel at one point didn't know what they know now because when we look at the book of Romans chapter 11, verse 25, for I will not, brethren, that you should be ignorant of this mystery, lest you should be wise in your own conceits, that blindness in part has happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentile become men. Yes, yes, yes. You see, they don't understand that that olive tree, that tree planted by rivers of living water, Mm. It's Yashua. They don't understand that that olive tree is the word of the living God, and Yasharel was grown up in that tree. Yasharel is the branches of that tree, and they are wild branches. Following after many of them know God. Even in this country, many people don't pay attention to when they say in God we trust. Which God do you trust in? Because when we look at the months of the year, we see Roman mythology at work. When we look at the days of the week and their origins, we see Greco-Roman and Norse mythology at work, those no gods. So when they say in God we trust, which God are they talking about? Because they have honored neither Yahuwah nor man. But beloved, this day, while they try to keep consuming everything around them, you need to understand that they are now 
living the curse that they have been. They have become their own curse. Everything they have done to another, they have done to themselves. So when you walk around and you see these excessively high prices while they give away billions, when you listen to these politicians thinking they should be the leader, when this country we have been in has never forwarded justice and honor and truth to anyone but themselves, which is no justice, no honor, and no truth. Understand you are looking at what they have done. The wicked boasted of his heart's desire. He blessed the covetous. Yes, yes, yes. But you see, Yah has given them over to a reprobate mind. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. They have made the lie an attempt of the truth. Good is now evil. If you speak of it, and evil considered good. They use terms that Yasharel uses, and they pollute it with their own ideologies. But know for a certainty, beloved, the blessing is unleashed on you. And you cannot look through the eyes of the world as you watch these blessings come to pass. They are under a curse. It will increase and increase. And all these nations that think themselves above Yasharel, that never even considered what has been done or what is going on. Yah is blessing Yasharel. Yes, yes, yes. He's blessing you in spiritual knowledge. He's blessing you in spiritual truth. He's blessing you with revelation wisdom. He's blessing you in miracles and healing as the curse is clinging to them. And those that try to mix with Yasharel, that try to join, literally to the point of marriage, polluting the blood, Yah will not pardon. No, he won't. He will not pardon it. And that is not sanctioned by him, beloved. Do not let the wheat and the tear join and become one. They cannot. They cannot, beloved. They cannot. But as we watch, Yasharel is growing in knowledge, growing in wisdom through his word. And though it is not all of us, it is enough of us, beloved. And remember, the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal. They are not like the world. But they are mighty through God, through the, to the pulling down of stronghold. As we go around that spiritual city of Jericho, as we give praise and a shout and the walls are cracking, the foundation is crumbling and we're casting down imaginations, all these things they put together, all these lies that have no power against the truth, beloved. And every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of Yahuwah, we're bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of the word of Yahuwah. Yes, we are, beloved. The blessing is coming down. There are things you have lost. You think about it. And suddenly he will make your eyes turn in a certain direction and you begin to recover things. You begin to recover knowledge. You begin to recover objects. You begin to even be blessed on whatever you put your hands to. When my money ran low recently, and yes, I was sick. I was sick because they were doing sheetrock in my house. It was dust everywhere, and the dust became overwhelming to me. And I got sick for a moment. But Yah is a healer, and he healed me. And as my money grew low, God began to bless me. He blesses us 
in everything we put our hands to, when we follow him, when we honor him, when we repent of our sins, because we have sinned. Yes, we have. Yes, beloved. The blessing is here. Know it for a certainty. When you follow and you honor and you glorify and you praise and you rejoice in Yahuwah and in his word and in his glorious spirit. We repent of our sins, Father, for there are many. Wash us in our word and clean us that we may be clean. For the word of life, Yeshua HaMashiach said, you are now clean through my word. Let us be cleansed, Father. Open our eyes, those of us that are blinded by the world's deceit, that we may see clearly the direction you would have us go in. And let us not fall into the trap and the pit and the snares that you have now laid out for Babylon and all the nations that joined against you and Yashorel, because that is what is coming upon them. Snares, traps, pits, and fears. When they gain freedom from one, they fall into another. And they feast on fear. They try to feed the world fear. But there is no fear in the Most High. We belong to you. We will not fear what man shall do to us. For we know you are our redeemer. You are our protector. We are hidden under the shadow of your wing. Yes, we are. You are the Lord of Salboeth, and he has put on his war garments. All those who have dishonored him and who have oppressed Yasharel, the curse is upon them, beloved, and that is what you're seeing. All those places and things they hold so dear. They even hold animals greater then they hold their own children. But he gave them over to a reprobate mind. They'd rather have dogs as children than children. But that's that reprobate mind. Since they honored not the creator. But the blessing has come, beloved. And when you see those among Yasharel who are walking blindly, you pray for them. But know for certainty that as we pray, praise, glorify, and rejoice in Yahuwah, his Holy Spirit, and his word, that these weapons of our warfare have been unleashed because they are not common. And the one that goes before us, yes, 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 is Yahuwah. He has gone out before us. The angel of the Lord is fighting. And their camp shall be like Sinatrib. It doesn't matter how great an army they bring. They are going down into the valley of decision. Their army shall be like Sinatrib. When they dishonored Yah to Hezekiah and Yashirab, that battle wasn't there. Mm -mm. He sent an angel of the Lord and destroyed thousands in one night. The angel of the Lord is encamped before us. He's going before us. Know it for certainty as you see these events. Yes, they will try to rob us. We watch these prices, but he is blessing us, increasing our basket, blessing the fruit of our bodies. It's the season of restoration, beloved. Know it for certainty as we give honor and glory unto the Most High, His Word and His Holy Spirit. Father, we repent this day of our sins. Let the blood of the beautiful Lamb, Yeshua HaMashiach, wash us clean. Forgive the sins of our ancestors who sinned against you. Forgive our sins, for we have sinned against you. And let thy mercy come in. Let thy word go out. And let all those nations who have warred against you and Yasharel fall. Let their confusion be great amongst one another. 
We are marching around the spiritual walls of Jericho. Babylon is Jericho as we rejoice and praise and pray on you, Father. There is coming a day we are going to give a great shout, a glorious holy shout, honoring and praising you because your word has done all you said it would do. As we watch those walls come tumbling down. Thank you, Father. Thank you this day and forevermore. Glory, hallelujah, Father. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen. It is a word, beloved. Shalom.